Here are three classic movies you should watch this summer. The first one I want to talk about is American Graffiti. This movie was directed by George Lucas and has an amazing cast, some of who you probably know, such as Harrison Ford, who portrays Han Solo in Star Wars, or Ron Howard, who ironically went on to direct the newest Solo movie. But also, you'll probably know Ron Howard from other various TV shows and films he has worked on. Another actor you may want to keep in mind is Richard Dreyfuss, who I will talk about more so later on in this video. American Graffiti is about a group of high school graduates who spend one last night together before they go on to college. Now if you listen to the soundtrack, it is absolutely phenomenal. I actually own the record of the soundtrack, which you can actually check out in my video, my vinyl collection, which I'll have like right here. The artwork for the album is really cool and it features 41 of the 43 songs in the movie. That's insane! 43 songs in the movie? Another unique fact about American Graffiti is that it was all shot in sequence. You heard me right, it was all shot in sequence. In case you didn't know, movies usually aren't shot in sequence because it's usually more cost effective to film it out of sequence. Lucas chose to film this in sequence, that way uh, the actors would seem more tired because, like I said, this is the last night before uh, these high school graduates go on to college. He wanted the actors to genuinely be tired by the time they got to the, um, the crazier shenanigans as the night went on, so everything was shot as you see it in the film. You also may notice that Harrison Ford's character wears a hat throughout the entire movie. This is because Harrison Ford said he would only take on the role if he didn't have to cut his hair. Actors be actors, right? <laughs> so my next movie is an absolute classic and if you haven't watched it, it's okay. No shame. This summer is your summer to watch it. Jaws. I know, some of you guys are like, of course we watch it, that's like the summer movie. Like me, I always end up watching it every summer, it's one of my brother's favorite films. And uh, <laughs> my mom, she said she, when she first saw it, she refused to go out into the ocean. I think all around it's a good film, it's written well, it's directed well, all the technical aspects of it is intriguing, and the plot is really good. This movie was directed by Steven Spielberg, and if you remember from what I just said, it stars Richard Dreyfuss who portrays the police chief, and he's one of the characters who goes after the shark along with a marine biologist and a shark hunter. The plot of this film is that a great white shark is wreaking havoc across Amity Island. Everyone's in danger and so the police chief, the marine biologist, and the shark hunter team up to take out the shark. Now most of this was shot at Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, however Spielberg did do a few shoots in the swimming pool in um, I believe it was Van Nuys. So if you do get the chance to go to Universal Studios one day you will actually get to see the setup in the pool and the shark. And making this movie was a real pain in the neck because not only did it go over budget and it ran over schedule, there were multiple technical problems that the team had to deal with. One of the biggest technical problems was the shark. The shark, he just like sometimes he just wouldn't be working. The team had to be very inventive with how they shot certain scenes because there were so many problems. Spielberg actually teamed up with John Williams who made the soundtrack of the film so that the soundtrack would indicate that the shark was there without actually having to show the shark. This saved them time and money that would have been wasted trying to get the shark up and running, which wasn't very often. Another fun fact about the shark is that his name is Bruce. And if you remember from Finding Nemo, the great white shark is named Bruce and this is due to Bruce in Jaws. So this is kind of like a fun little link. Who knew? This was actually the highest grossing film in America until Star Wars came out in 1977. And if you haven't watched Jaws, give it a go. If you have watched Jaws, watch it again. It's summer. It's that time of year again. The last movie is a fun, heartfelt, family-friendly film, The Sandlot. 
It just makes you feel good afterwards. So this movie is about Scotty Smalls, who just moves into a neighborhood and befriends a group of boys who all play baseball and they all go on these crazy adventures with each other. And eventually the big climax is when the ball goes over the fence and there's the beast Hercules, who uh, you might not want to mess with. Hercules was portrayed by an English Mastiff, which I grew up with Bull Mastiffs. They're a smaller version of the dog, but my dog would come up to like here. And I'm a tall person. You know, I'm sitting down right now. Me sitting down, he would probably come up to my shoulders. This English Mastiff was bigger. And they couldn't have the English Mastiff there the whole time. So they made this huge puppet that two people would have to operate in order to make it look realistic. Another unique aspect to the Sandlot is that it was only shot in 42 days. 42 days! That's super short! And my favorite quote has to be, You're killing me, Smalls! Because honestly, who doesn't know what a s'mores is? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If you don't know what a s'mores is, go ahead and look it up. Actually, let me know if you don't know what a s'mores is. We're gonna make some ultimate s'mores one day on this channel. So I really do hope you get the chance to watch these three movies at one point. If you watch them all in one go, that's totally doable. None of them are like super, super long. Or you could spread them out throughout the summer. Or if you have watched them all, you could just revisit them and enjoy those good summer vibes. I know that the world is kind of crazy right now and I hope that you are staying safe and that you are following your gut and doing what you feel is right and that you just take care of yourself. Enjoy these movies. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.